I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this video shows how to operate the AMSAT CubeSat Sim, the CubeSat simulator. So currently the uh, CubeSat Sim is charging with the USB power pack here, so I'm going to unplug that. And I'm also going to launch it by taking out the uh, remove before flight switch. So now the uh, CubeSat Sim is turning on and um, booting up. Uh, and I'm also going to turn on the turntable to simulate it uh, spinning in space. Okay, uh, so I'm going to now share my screen. And uh, so you can see the signals that we're receiving from it. So uh, I'm running SDR Sharp, which is a, uh, a free SDR software that runs on Windows. You hear the CWID there. Uh, I'm at 434.9 megahertz, narrowband FM. And uh, now we start to hear the uh, telemetry signal. So I'm receiving this on the RTL SDR. You can see it in the, in the corner of the screen here. And uh, I'm also running uh, uh, AFSK 1200 decoder, which is uh, decoding the uh, packets. So you can see it's coming from uh, W3ZM, and it's the uh, traditional Oscar 7 high high, and then a series of numbers. And in addition, um, you'll also see the uh, the sensor data from the uh, from the BME uh, 280 and also the MPU 6050 uh, sensor. Okay, so uh, I'm going to change modes now. And uh, the way I do this is I use the, the little push button on the plus X side, and I'm gonna press it and hold it until the green LED blinks twice. And then I release it. That will switch us to, uh, to our second mode, um, which is, which is um, FSK, uh, data under voice. And for that, we need to switch to um, Fox to Len. And uh, I'm going to start that in uh, data under voice mode. And you can hear what it sounds like. basically a low frequency rumbling sound. It's uh, 200 bits per second. And you can see in Fox Telem, we have a nice open eye diagram here and a nice digital signal. And if I click on the CubeSat SIM FSK tab here, um, we, can see, we can see data there. Uh, so for example, the battery voltage is 3.94 volts and is drawing 258 uh, milliamps right now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to turn on the LED lamp to simulate uh, coming into illumination. Up until now, we've been uh, in Eclipse. And now, if I pull up the, uh, the uh, voltage curve here, you see uh, for the various panels, we were getting about 2 volts, which is just the ambient light in, uh, in the room. But now that the LED lamp is on, you see we're getting voltages of about about three and a half volts there. Um, so we're uh, so we're getting uh, uh, getting the solar panels activated when they uh, when they face our uh, our simulated sun. In addition, uh, also plotted here are some of the solar panel currents, and you can see those are quite small, about four milliamps. Um, but it, at least it shows that we're that we are uh, getting some power out of the solar panels. If you want to see real um, current coming out of the solar panels, um, put the CubeSat sim in the sun and, uh, and you'll get, uh, uh, you'll get, um, you get some, some very decent, uh, currents there of 50 to hundred milliamps. And you'll also see, uh, actual charging of the, uh, of the, uh, batteries. Okay. Uh, so also here, note, it says stem payload status. Okay. So that's telling us that the STEM payload board is, uh, is, is installed and working. And um, 
we should also see, uh, let's see, where is it? We should see some rotation here. For some reason I don't really see it. Okay, so let's, let's shift modes here. Uh, I'm gonna now press and hold the button for three blinks. So that switches to BPSK, binary phase shift keying. And uh, so this is the this is the uh, mode that emulates um, Fox One E and uh, Husky Sat. Uh, once that gets going, it's uh, twelve hundred bits per second. And in order to see that, here let's see, see what it looks like. That's just a carrier right now. Um, there it goes. It's kind of that unpleasant uh, noise sound. So note that in order to decode this, we would need to switch to uh, upper sideband here and adjust it so we have basically the center, center peak there. Um, in FoxTelem, I have to change modes here, right? I'm under data under voice mode. I need to change to BPSK Fox Husky Sat. And if I do that, then uh, uh, I should start to get some packets here. Tuning BPSK is a little tricky. So I would in general recommend using the FSK. There we go, that's better. Uh, that shows the, the phaser diagram looking like it's supposed to, like a straight line. And, uh, and the eye diagram, well, it looks a little funny that that is um, how it looks. And we can see the digital data there. And the data in this mode will show up in the CubeSat Sim BPSK tab here. And you can see that we've gotten some data here uh, from it. All right, let's uh, switch to our final mode here. So I'm going to go for four blinks of the LED. There go. And I'm going to turn off the LED lamp because this mode uh, is actually not, not a telemetry mode. Uh, instead, I need to switch back to narrowband FM. Uh, there we go. So that is the sound of uh, slow scan TV. Okay, so finally, uh, I'm going to shut down. And to shut down, I press and hold the button here until it uh, blinks slowly. So I go through the other modes here. Now that it's blinking slowly, I can release it. And uh, the CubeSat sim will shut down. And once it's shut down, we can put in the remove before flight switch to turn it off and it's a good idea to uh, to plug in the charger so that we are fully charged and ready for next time